Hi there, welcome to another edition of My ABC Dad, a place where we can learn together. My name is Craig and this is Elliot. And Elliot and I today are going to explore the hundreds chart, which is just behind Elliot's left shoulder here. And that is a chart with numbers yes. from, that's right, from 1 to 100. And we have a variation here that where the cards include the number symbol and number word or number name. And the background uh, includes amounts from 1 to 100. So we hope you join us for that and let's get started. taken off some of the number symbol and word cards for Elliot to have a go to have a think about I'll give him the clues one a clue for each number missing number symbol and word card and then he needs to decide which one it is if he's correct I'll give him the card and he can put it back where it belongs okay so before we begin let's uh, let's uh, just run through the numbers up to 20 here again so Okay, and if you do need to check to try and decide what the number is called because you forget, there are two ways to do it. You can count using the circles. And you can even shade the circles as you count them if you like. And then you can also count by how we just did it, using pointing at the cards or even doing it in your, your head. Okay? So here we go. Here comes the first one. Would you like an easy one or a really challenging one first? Easy one. Easy one to get you started. Okay. This one is one more than five. Six. Okay, lovely. And the card in my hand now is one more than ten. Eleven. Terrific. This one is one less than nine. Less than nine. Plus. Or the number before nine. So the nine. If you need another clue, you just let me know. Another clue. Another clue. Okay, this number has a five and a three in it. Eight. Eight, lovely. Okay, and then this number is the very first number on our hundreds chart. One. One. Okay. Number one. This number has two tens. Two tens. Two tens in it. So this one here has one ten. That one right there, that's one ten. Which number has two tens? Yeah, what's that called again? Twenty-five. 
20. 20. I like the way you took your time. Okay, this one is four more than 10. And I'll give you two clues for this. Four more than 10 or one less than 15. Fourteen. Fourteen, okay. And then three. And then three is the last one. Well done. <laughs> okay. And just for the viewers at home or at school or wherever you may be watching this, uh, we just have a little bit of blue tack on the back of each card. And then to help it stick and to help this hundreds chart last, each of the cards that we've cut out, we've uh, put a little plastic vellum, covered them in plastic vellum, uh, cut around the edges so that there's nice rounded corners. They don't poke us when we're we're holding them. And then um, the actual background with the amounts from 1 to 100, we've also covered in plastic vellum. Another option is to laminate uh, everything and then put them together afterwards. Okay. Okay, that concludes this video where Elliot and I explored the hundreds chart together. If you'd like to have a go, then please visit www.mybcdad.com where you can find that resource as well as other resources and other videos. So we hope you enjoyed that and join us again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. You said again, thanks for watching. That's all right. Can't I say? Thanks for watching. Are you going to say goodbye? Uh, bye. Oh.